Thanks very much. Well, tonight is a traditional kickoff of UConn Spring Weekend, but a stern warning from police and the university may be keeping students from going out. News 8's Bob Wilson is live on the store's campus tonight. Bob, it seems like celebrations are really low key right now. Low key. Uh, listen to this right here. Listen. You hear that? Normally these guys would be going crazy, but is, is Spring Weekend dead? Yes. Spring yes. Weekend's been destroyed. It's terrible, man. Right? Uh, people don't get it. I mean, there's nobody behind here. How would you describe Spring Weekend? It's literally no one's here. There's more it's, cops than oh, students. Hi, cops. Where yeah. are the students? That's They've it. killed it. I know. They, yeah. But, but you know what? It's weird because normally it's wild and crazy. Right now it's kind of lame and tame. So, is there going to be a little party tonight or a lot of parties? Students trickled into the carriage house with enthusiasm. And while it's the favorite spring week party spot, this spring week, they got the message. Police will be cracking down. They're Just interrupting tried. my party. Just and I want to party, and they're interrupting. It's our senior How are they interrupting year. your partying? They're everywhere. They're, they're everywhere. And it's my senior year. And I'm 22. This is allowed. <laughs> Now this year the Yukon police are doing something different. All the roads going into campus, not only are they doing a sobriety checkpoint to see if people have been drinking and driving, they're also doing complete checks to make sure that they're registered students because they say they're not going to allow people into the dorms unless you're a student, especially overnight guests. They say they want to keep the off-campus crowd off campus. But I think that kids who don't go to Yukon ruin it for everybody. It's so you like that they're cracking down and not letting people on campus? I mean, I mean, I, I like the whole scene of spring weekend, but... <laughs> That's not okay. I mean, I think that like kids from UConn get it, but kids who don't go to UConn, they kind of take advantage of the situation. Last year, a student was killed, sucker punched by a man who was not a student but came to party. This year, police are laying down the law and enforcing it with no exceptions. And there are consequences to illegal actions. Uh, in the town of Mansfield alone, there's an open, open container law. It doesn't matter how old you are, no one can have an open container. We'll take enforcement action. Uh, in addition, any underage drinking is, is not simply not tolerated. Uh, and students are noticing. It's probably not going to get as out of control because the cops are being really strict. <laughs> have you witnessed that already? Like the cops? Yeah, have you seen them? I've been driving around like in our apartment. and. I think it will be safe, but I think for people who know how to party, we'll have fun and we'll know how to be safe, but other people won't. They, they just won't, but I, so what are you guys going to do tonight then if the party's not here? What do you Go to party at home. We'll make our own party. That's yeah, the guy with three ladies right here. He's, he's all set. He's like, yeah, we're going to go find some. All right. Well, I wish you a safe time. Enjoy your time. This is crazy. No spring weekend up here at UConn, so if you're thinking of coming up, don't. Police say, don't come out. All right, I'm Bob Wilson reporting live on UConn News 8.